Hello and greetings to all. Uh, on this video, I'll teach how you would use uh, or how you can RDP to your Windows computer from your Linux. Uh, I know a lot of people end up having that issue that are actually transferring or migrating from a Windows environment over to uh, just strictly Linux on their machine. But there's um, certain hurdles that, that end up happening. One is, especially if you need to RDP into work computers and so forth, um, then you run into a, a block where you have a hard time trying to, trying to get that going. You might want to do a virtual box or you might just want to dual boot. Um, so this is a way around that. Um, it, you would actually open or you would go to your control center. Um, everybody's is going to be a little bit different. Depends on what um, uh, management environment you have. Um, so in short, you want to go here. Semantic Package Manager. On some people, you'll have it maybe under here. Um, system Administration and Semantic Package uh, Manager. This is the one that that I use the most beside the terminal because um, it always works. Um, okay, so what we're going to look for is once we get it open, is we are going to look for. Oops, did I misspell it? Oops, it's RAM. Somehow I put an A, but now they put an E. So, what you're going to want is you see these plugins. These are all the different plugins that you could do. RDP is obviously the one that we're going to do. Uh, for my sake, uh, just so I don't have to redo it, um, I'm, go I'm going to select everything that I need or that I want on this machine. So, VNC, because I connected some machines on VNC. Here's my next. And phone server and the GNOME. I'm using um, my environment is uh, Mate. The desktop environment is Mate. That uh, it's it's, a, it's basically a fork out of the GNOME 2. Um, I just have this is what I've been using the most and I'm used to it. So yeah. Once it's done, we're gonna go ahead and click on Apply. And just, uh, if you want to do the package files only, I don't recommend it, but you're welcome to just do that if you want. Uh, but it's not going to reinstall. So I'm going to apply it. And we can see all the packages that are actually jump, dumping in. Now we can actually see it unpacking and installing. And that's it. It's installed. So, okay, so once it installs, you could actually you you would actually find it under your internet section, right here. Oops, right here, uh, right there. And now you're gonna go ahead and click on this uh, green plus, and you would give it a name that you want for this particular. It's just a descriptive name, so it's not. It's just something for you. So we call this a uh, TX two. And remember where we talked about um, all those plugins that I was clicking on? It's all these different protocols that I that I can actually connect to. The one you want is this one, Remote Desktop Protocol. Um, so I'm going. Go, I'm actually going to connect to this particular server. Let me type it in, and then you would enter your username. You would enter your password. And then under domain, if you are running a domain, um, then a Windows with Active Directory, you would actually put it right here under domain. Um, let me go ahead and type that in. And then you would just select your colors. And quality, I want it to be good. Um, now, I'm connected to RDP, 
um, I mean, excuse me, to my VPN, um, to one of my offices. So um, you could actually see it here running. So anyways, uh, security, I want it to be RDP. And uh, on some situations, you have to actually select this, attach the console. Um, sometimes it tends to like this part. Um, if it throws up, then we'll take it off. Uh, everything looks okay. I'm gonna save it. I'm just gonna select it now, and you're gonna once you save it, all you would do is just select it and click on this connect, and there it is. So now I'm at. Oops. Oh man. So I'm actually connected to a Windows. Um, server and you know here it goes you could actually see um, I'm running on this particular server it's actually not the domain controller but it is part of my big network um, it's running Windows 2012 so you know it's all valid and this is how you would use uh, let me let me log off this is how you would actually use um, how you connect your Linux to an RDP Windows, and hopefully it helps. Uh, go ahead and subscribe on our Thanks YouTube for watching again, um, and follow us on Facebook, uh, on FreelanceTech.com, uh, and on our blog on FreelanceTech.com.